The coronavirus has striked the fear of God into a large majority of people worldwide. With questions like how deadly is it, will we ever find a cure, how do I make sure I stay safe and so on, this virus has the world on edge. And of course there are questions as to how the virus started in the first place. Some sources claim it started with a bat soup of sorts. Others claim it started in a market where live animals were sold as delicacies. And the most wild claim includes that the virus was created in a lab. Which is what we'll be covering today on Life's Biggest Questions. What if the coronavirus was created in a lab? How's it going friends? Welcome back to LBQ. I'm your host, Jared Bronstein. And before we start today's video, let me know in the comments below when you think we'll find a cure for this pandemic and make sure to stick around for the bonus content we got for you. Now it's no secret researchers and scientists have been working tirelessly to find a cure for this novel coronavirus. At the time of this recording, it's believed over 31.5 thousand people have been infected, with 1,778 of them recovering and 638 deaths. Virologists worldwide have been trying to get their hands on a physical sample of the virus to test how how specific drugs and vaccines affect the bacteria. The first lab to start tests for a cure was the Wuhan Institute of Virology, led by a virologist Zheng Li Shi, and a lab in Australia announced on January 28th they had obtained samples of the virus from an infected person traveling from China. The Australian virologists were planning to share their samples with other scientists, and labs in France, Germany, and Hong Kong are also now planning on trying to get physical samples of the virus from local patients to study. So it's quite evident that the cure itself is hopefully going to be discovered sooner than later, and will be created created in a lab, where all medicine is usually created. But what if the opposite was also true? What if the virus itself was created in a lab? Now there are a handful of reasons this would be the case. It's possible the lab that created the virus was trying to find a cure for another disease or virus. Or maybe someone accidentally mixed together a few chemicals they weren't supposed to. The most common belief regarding this entire situation is that the virus was created to be used as biological warfare. Now of course, if this was the case, it would simply change the narrative. Assuming it was created by the Chinese government, they would most definitely have a cure for it in case important people, say the president, or a high-ranking military official accidentally caught the virus. Some reports even claim that the virus was actually stolen from a lab in Winnipeg. It turns out the virus that was escorted with a researcher from Winnipeg to Wuhan was for the MERS strain back in 2018. But some websites decided to run with the story that the virus was originally stolen from a lab in Winnipeg and brought back to Wuhan where it was studied, released, and brought us to where we are now. One way or another, it seems there is both good and bad news if the virus was in fact created in a lab. Regardless of intention, if it was accidentally created or used as a biological weapon, if it was made in a lab, that means there is most definitely already a cure. Which is great news because that means we would have a way to stop this virus from infecting and killing more people. The bad news is, even if there was a cure, we wouldn't know because we need to trust that the CDC, and labs in general, are being honest and transparent with the media, who we also need to trust are being honest and transparent with us. If it was in fact proven that the virus was created in a lab, a lot of questions would arise as to not only how, but more importantly why. Was it to wage a war or possibly to balance out a country that is known to have a population problem? We can't forget China implemented a policy that families could only have one child. That policy was then changed to allowing two children per married couple, but it doesn't seem the policy worked as effectively as the government had hoped when they first implemented it. However, if it was in fact proven that the Chinese government was responsible for releasing this pathogen, I think a war would officially be declared. Whether it's a revolution where the people of China decide to go against the government for betraying them, or other countries get involved now that their citizens are being affected, one thing is for sure all hell would break loose. Now with all that being said, I personally don't think this was the case, and I genuinely believe this novel coronavirus was started from an animal market. For whatever reason, our body rejects certain things we put into it, which is why when you eat bad or expired food for example, your body tends to eject it rather quickly, either through your mouth or butthole before you can digest it. Unfortunately in more severe cases, our body can't fight off, throw up, or poop out whatever it is that we probably shouldn't eat, which apparently is how this novel coronavirus started. And being curious as humans are, I think this was simply a mistake of sorts that has led to something catastrophic. Similarly to the first guy who thought it was a good idea to get intimate with a monkey, whoever decided to eat a bat or pangolin, which is where they believe the virus started, could be the one who started this whole thing. Now nothing has been 100% confirmed regarding how the virus started. It's possible someone got attacked by a bat and had the virus for weeks without showing symptoms, spreading it to others which led to this outbreak. As the days go on, we are beginning to learn more and more about the virus, which gives hope that a cure will be found sooner than later. As always, make sure to stay safe, constantly wash your hands, and follow all flu-like procedures such as covering your mouth when coughing or nose when sneezing. Our hearts go out to all those affected by this horrible virus, and let's hope we can put an end to it soon. 
As always, you guys gotta let me know your thoughts on all this and what you think would happen if it was in fact proven this virus was created in a lab. For now, let's reply to some comments from the video. What if the coronavirus spread all over Canada? Frankie G said, crazy how a virus spreads so easily, lol. Yeah, especially this one because the symptoms don't show immediately, so you could be infected for about a week, week and a half, not even know you have it, spread it to more people. You know, something as simple as like coughing, shaking somebody's hand, biting your nails, you know, touching something, putting your hands in your mouth and you eat, anything like that, you could have it. It's 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 pretty scary. Don Alwyn said, how are people recovering? Well, the good news, I mean, not good, but although there isn't a cure, it seems like a lot of people could fight it off like a common cold. It's more so people that are already very sick or the elderly that have a tough time fighting off an infection like this that are most at risk of unfortunately not making it through. But for everyone else, it's similar to like a common cold that could get much worse, but you gotta kinda just wait it out, take, drink a lot of fluids and wash your hands and just stay in bed and rest. Brown Bear Box Productions said, short answer, no more nice people. I'm sure there's nice people like in Iceland or something. In Greenland, Greenland, Greenland. I don't know how to say it. You guys gave me shit last time. I said Greenland and it's like Greenland or something. I don't know. Anyways, Canada doesn't have nice people. Toronto has some shit people, so don't be surprised. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this one up, guys. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. We'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.